Yo, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlogs. And as always, I appreciate all the love and support. In today's video, it's gonna be a good one. I like this one too today. It's gonna be a simple mod, but I wanna see if it's gonna make any difference. So we're just gonna get right to it. So I'm already planning on getting a exhaust. So, and I got a few of them in the back of my mind that I'm thinking of. And I already talked to one of the companies. Uh, so shout out to them. I already talked to them on Instagram and I appreciate them telling me all the part numbers and everything that I need. I wanted to have it a, a certain way because I, I'm kind of looking for that obnoxiously loud, aggressive ZL1 sound, if you know what I'm talking about. Not the piercing loud, which ZL1s, you know, I've never seen one that has a piercing sound, you know, but I'm going from a V6 to a V8. I love the sound on Optimus. You know, it sounds great for what it is, but on this one, I definitely want not to say that my neighbors are going to be mad at me even more, but I'm just saying. So we're on our way to Muffler Masters of Avondale. Uh, Chris is the guy who owns the place and he's the one that's always taking care of me. I've gone to him for years for my exhaust setup with Prime. And if you've never checked out any of those videos, I'll leave a card up top so that way you guys can check out what Optimus sounds like. But either way, enough talking. We're going to go straight to the shop and we're going to get this install done real quick. And hopefully I can get a little bit better of a sound. It sounds great the way it is stock. But I think with this, it's just going to make it just a little bit louder, which that's what we want until we get the full exhaust. So we'll see you over there. You know what, you guys, what I was thinking also is I want to see if you guys can hear it, but we're going to do a comparison and I'm going to downshift and see what it sounds like now compared to when I downshift when I do this quick little mod. So let's just hit this red light real quick. Yeah, that sounds really, really good. Let's see what it sounds like when we do this quick mod right here. All right, you guys, so we're officially back at Muffler Masters of Avondale. Once again, like I said, this is the only place that I bring Optimus Prime to get all the exhaust work done. Now I got Superman on the rack, obviously my 2018 Camaro ZL1. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a secondary cat delete for right now. And then later on, eventually, I'm going to come back over here and I'll bring them the full exhaust so we can do the Corsa exhaust, the Corsa Extreme uh, full uh, cap bag with the double X pipe, all that good stuff. So for right now, I want to see what it looks like under there because I've never seen what it looks like. So let's take a look. Take a look at what it looks like. So this is what's going to come off later and possibly these because there's a dip right over here from factory right there. If you guys can see it. And if you do the double uh, X pipe, with the uh, Corsa setup, it's three inch pipes all the way back. And then you have the variable exhaust where you'll get to keep that right here. You'll get to keep that with the Corsa uh, setup so that way you can open and close uh, the valves, which is really nice. This is what you want to keep right here. So yeah, I can't wait, man. I mean, this, you know, it sounds great on the car. I love it, absolutely love it. But I can't wait to hear what the Corsa sounds like. So what we're gonna do, is we're gonna come over here and we're gonna cut this one off right here this one and that one so just give it a nice slice here slice there and then put a pipe pretty much right there and that's it secondary cat so you got one here and one here and that's it this one here when they set these up where you replace those you always want to make sure your sensor is plugged back in or you get a check engine light definitely looking forward really clean under here too only got 13,000 miles on the car and I'm very grateful. But I think it was nice. Yeah. Crazy. So here's, here's uh, what gets me when I see the ZL1 up here uh, on this rack. So it's funny because we were talking about it just now. I brought Prime here, uh, my other Camaro, uh, maybe like 2014, I want to say. I brought it here. And I've been coming here ever since then. So these guys are absolutely amazing. I'm not just saying that just because I come here. I've referred so many people to come check this place out. Their cuts are real clean. The welding is real clean. Their work is very clean. You know, when you leave, 
your exhaust tips are not one is uneven compared to the other one i mean they'll double triple quadruple check it and i'm serious just to make sure that it's sitting perfectly fine so okay just follow him there you go no for matches with abigail that's chris that's his brother right there so there you go start cutting the wings All right, you guys, there we go. So those big pieces that were here, they're gone. They're actually small, but I just say that because this is more clean. So what we ended up doing was instead of a two and a half inch pipe, we put a three inch pipe on here and we put the welds, uh, welded it on there. So it looks really good, nice cuts. And we're gonna lower the car down and see what she sounds like. See if it makes any difference. Rev it and downshift it over there, it's gonna sound much better. Let me tell you, man, this thing sounds so much better. When I started it at the shop, I forgot that it was in tour mode, it wasn't uh, in sport or track mode where the valves were open. So, like, listen to this like, you don't even, like, you're not even stepping on it, like, you're just giving it. <laughs> Hold on, bro, I gotta put this in gear. God, this is gonna be nuts. This is gonna be a lot of fun. Yeah. I can only imagine what it's gonna sound like. Let's listen. I'm trying to get around everybody. So I can see if I can do a pull real quick. It sounds like like it's just spitting flames at you, but I know it's not spitting flames, but that's crazy. Hold on a second, let me try it one more time right over here. Definitely get the uh, secondary cat delete. Whoever has a ZL1 out there and you were debating if you should do it or not, yeah, get it done. I know quite a few people messaged me uh, on Facebook and said, you're gonna love it, bro, just do it. And I was like, all right, cool. But yeah, that's crazy. All right, you guys, so let's go ahead and give this uh, a startup and see what it sounds like. I'm still trying to figure out and learn uh, if I hit the remote start, I'll notice that the car will still be in like tour mode and I don't know how, and unless I'm just tripping, sometimes it'll be in tour mode, sometimes it'll be in sport mode like how I normally drive around, you know, I don't know, but we'll give it a cold start and see what, or we'll start it up and see what happens. I'm going to do it from the inside of the car. It 
definitely sounds a lot better. It's got a, it's got a better better kick to it also. That's not a cold start, obviously, because I drove the car and brought it back home. But that's a really nice startup, the way it's starting up compared to the way it was in the beginning, uh, the first time and the before. So let me give it some little baby revs and see what that sounds like also. All right, you guys, so hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, I'm, again, I'm super excited with this setup. I think it sounds a lot more better than it did uh, for being a, a little easy, simple mod that you put on the car compared to when it was stock. So it's awesome because those were the secondary cat delete, which are the ones that are the further back, the second ones, the second pair, I should say. And um, just getting those cut, we put again, the three inch pipes on there instead of the two and a half. And it sounds really, really good. I don't know if it's going to be any different if it was a two and a half. I don't think it's going to make too much of a change. Probably just a little bit better flow. I don't know. But it sat there nice and clean. Again, really nice welds, good cut, great cuts, all that good stuff. So again, I'm going to leave the link in the description where you guys can hit up uh, Muffler Masters of Avondale. And you can talk to uh, Chris or Ethan and they'll take care of you guys. Just let them know I sent you over there. And yeah, man, I think it's amazing. So yeah, on to the next video from here. You know, we're gonna keep this rolling. I appreciate all the messages, uh, all the comments, you know, especially since I brought home the ZL1. A lot of you guys have been showing a lot of love and I appreciate that the channel is moving and grooving. It's growing quick right now. Like so, and I'm very, very grateful. I'm gonna keep bringing you guys all the content. If it's your first time on the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. A thumbs up definitely helps out the channel. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think of this sound. Again, we're gonna be bringing a full exhaust system really, really soon. And I've already talked to a few of them, like I mentioned earlier, and I'm down, I'm boiled down to two different companies. So I'm just debating on which one to go with um, because you get for what you pay for. And with a ZL1, the parts are definitely pretty pricey, but again, you get for what you pay for. So either way, in the meantime, between time, you guys know the drill. A hey, Dilla, bow. You know who's right behind me, prep time right there behind me and Superman right over here. So I really appreciate you guys, man. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.